Hello everybody, Heroes of the Greek here with an o 5 overall mods for Rome 2. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Likes and subs are always welcome. If you want to take a look at the mods yourselves, link to, to them down in the description below. I'm going to start with my favorite mod, Div Day and Impera. I think my favorite for Rome 2 and maybe for any Total War. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. With Div Day Impera, uh, you have three a new campaigns added uh, or more or less two two new campaigns are taking place in two different type periods one is the macedonian war that replaces the raffle sparta campaign and the other one is a sub mod you have to go and get to the steam workshop link to that will be in the description below as well is the alexander the great campaign uh, with all these three new campaigns added you won't have the reform uh, system the same goes for all the other campaigns you have in the uh system of the Evident Impera, you won't have the reform system available, but you will have the reform system available in the grand campaign. Uh, the reform system is basically the cherry on the cake of the Evident Impera, as well as other special things that it adds, but I will grant you to test this out yourself. The reform system basically is a uh, system that over time, after a certain amount of turns, the factions will uh, develop their military advances into uh, new things they have learned over time and will naturally progress into better technology. Um, that same goes for this new faction, the Marian Indians for example, they will take on more Greek style fighting but also will like implement that with their own style of fighting. So you basically have um, two different uh, factions in one. So the same goes for Rome, the Rome will try and adapt more things of their counterpart but Rome it is more an history progression uh, transition towards uh, the Imperial Legions while some of the other factions will try and like assimilate Rome so you basically got all different types of uh, faction naturally progressing with the military standpoint also the game adds a whole new uh, <coughs> skill system as well as for the characters can perform different roles from generals becoming just generals or governors so if all that kind of stuff and things like the Marian Indians are added as well through the um, Grand Campaign. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the mod. Let's go now take a look on the battles. Well, with the battles of uh, Rome 2 and as well as the Grand Campaign and say for all the campaigns, you are able to use the David Impera units as well as in the historical battles. The only historical battle that I have found out you can't play these uh, use the David Empire uh, system is the Battle of Cana. For some reason, that one just won't load and it crashes the game. So, um, maybe if you figure it out, let me know in the comments if you can make it to work. Uh, but yeah, here we got it. This is the um, one of the, this is the Battle of the Book Fort. As you can see, the Legionaries, as well as the Alexandrian units, have all different abilities like Square, uh, Discipline Formation. Uh, cavalry plans and their famous attacking the studio. So all the units and uh, most of the units have all some different formations they wouldn't have normally. As you can see, the general unit has just some normal stats, and also the cavalry has some different attacking formation that it normally wouldn't have. Um, that is one of the few few things that it also brings. And also, uh, attack in the rear is a whole lot more of an uh, perk than it normally would have. Attacking in the rear would, would really hurt most of the times your own units uh, if that happens to you as well as the enemy. And sometimes mass routes will also happen, although it isn't as common as it was in the previous version when really one attack would basically route everything. That hasn't happened. But I must say it is possibly for me the best mod that adds it for David in the pair as well. Before battles you have different stats like patrol stands, although I wouldn't recommend it doing it most of the time. It is like a stance in the campaign map you can use to boost public order and reduce upkin costs, but you will be ambushed if they attack you in that stand as well. Your stats will be debuffed. Um, this was Div Date in Para. Uh, I hope you will join me in the campaigns I'm doing with it. I have now two campaigns going on. The Octavian campaign as well as the... Uh, uh, Marian Empire campaign so check out uh, those videos and as well check the mod out yourself link to that this one in the description below and I hope you enjoyed it so again thank you for watching the uh, David Para spotlight and now we're going to move on to the next one
Well, here we are. Here we have the second campaign that we're going to uh, showcase. It is Kunstein the Great campaign. I hope you will all enjoy this one. And I suppose some of you already seen it. In this campaign, you basically take charge of Kunstein or any of the other factions that are available. We basically got uh, Maximius um, Augustus. We also got Daya, and we got um, Licinius Augustus. So basically, they're all emperors, and you play as one of them. Um, one thing to notice though that you're in with if you play as constantly you basically you'll play already as the Christian you're already a Christian faction you don't start as them but uh, yeah, I suppose what happens in history you will go to a certain event on the Milvian Bridge or through the Milvian Bridge and then Constantine got sort of a side of God but that doesn't happen in the game that's not like event for that but you do have um, already from the beginning you got uh, the uh, Christian religion and as you can see, they also have a new building chain, that is this one, I think it is more uh, semi-religion with some different uh, things implemented inside of it. And over here you've got the uh, religion tree for the uh, Christians as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically what this mod uh, new adds, as well as all the other factions as well as all new building models, but we'll see that in an upcoming uh, battle shot. So um, this is basically what the campaign uh, looks like, and here you see a few of the unit models. And of course, also the generals are uh, remodeled as well. And uh, yeah, they got Constantine. And uh, yeah, he starts off with no family, family members, but it is the family tree. Well, here we got like one of the commander units of the Octavian uh, style of actions. Um, most of the uh, Roman units will look the same, although some of them, um, some with Octavian units, will have the um, Christian. Uh, Yes, uh, emblem on their shield, like these guys. These are, I think, are called Aclia or the main court. As you can see, not all units will have them. So sometimes when you will be fighting in a battle, what we see in this shot, you don't actually really know which um, faction you're fighting. But here we see like a little recharge, and um, there's actually a battle between Maximius and Constantine. So you can see right now, the units look really similar. Um, uh, but yeah, that's normal because the Romans would have used the same equipment during that time period. Uh, although some of them will have the uh, Christian um, emblem, but of course, if you wouldn't um, play in cinematic mode, you will just see these ones. And basically, this is the Constein, the uh, Great Mod, of course. All the other factions also remodeled have some new units like the Barbarian and Sassanids. And it is the Constein, so I hope you check out the mod. And uh, yeah. It was constant and great mod, and link to that one is below as well. Let's move on to the third overall mod. Well, here we are, the Spartacus Rises mod, and you're starting Capua with the Servo. Um, yeah, this Servo faction, or, or uh, as you know, the Spartacus Rebellion. Uh, here we got the family tree, or at least the characters you have, like Spartacus, Crixus, and you got two others of the, um, I think Gannicus, like of the series, if you don't know, if you maybe know that, from the Spartacus series. Uh, this is basically the map, uh, Bro mostly controls all of the entire map. And you start off as Capua, you also have the other Silver of Rebellions during the time that is Ceturius, but we'll take a look on all the factions that you have in like a little bit of seconds, but um, the units of the Spartacus mod, uh, or the Servals, don't cost anything to recruit. Um, they take those, I suppose, from like the Romans they kill in battle, uh, but they have a really high upkeep cost because they have to go raid and something like that. So you don't have to pay anything to uh, recruit them, but you will have to um, pay a whole load of upkeep costs. And yeah, here we've got like one of the slash and shock so um uh, basically, basically how the mod evolves at least this is what i do just loot it and sack it and uh but anyway uh that is bit of where the campaign is about you got quite a lot of factions i must say it is quite fun i played it it was really a lot of fun i check it out um let's take a look at all the factions well here we are this is where you start off when you load up the uh dlc or the mod of spartacus rises and we are going to take a look at all the factions. We got Sertorius uh, Rebels. Um, you got, I think the, the thing on is a Gallic faction. And uh, yeah, there are all the factions. There's a Gallic faction. Ordo. Yeah, Rome, Servals, Lusitania, Arvati. And then you got uh, 
um, the last one is in video. So you can total all of eight factions you can choose from. Let's take a look at the units. Well, for the look at these units, we're going to take a closer look at these uh, the servals. If we got mostly the level levy troops, so scrapped on from the raw recruits, give them some Roman armor. These ones already a little bit more armored. I'm not sure which ones these are. These are the servile uh, veterans or swordsmen, sorry. And over here we got some more of those. And here we got servile veterans, even more armored. We need some heavy, duked out legionaries together, smashed around. And here we got the servile uh, swordsmen, sorry, those ones before were spears. And over here we got the general unit, the servile uh, champions, and then we got. Spartacus, a bit um, whitish, I must admit, but overall looks cool. New unit model, and uh, yeah, those are all the uh, units for the servals. Um, there's a bit what you can expect in this mod, and here we see a little bit of fighting as well and goring with the Romans. So, I hope you enjoyed the Spartacus Rises mod. Link again in the description. Let's move on to the fourth uh, overall. Well, here we are with Wars of the Gods mod. As you can see, there are a whole load of new factions that you can choose from. Basically, what this mod does, it basically adds a whole load of new flavors to the entire campaign. Adds new factions, and for every faction, some of them have new units. Most of them actually have new units. Even the smaller uh, factions like these guys, as like they do have their own special units. And if we go and take a look at, let's say, the Burkey, they don't have too much. Um, but if we continue to do the Kimbri, they have again some new stuff. So every faction has some new stuff. Even Nossals, like if you see Nossals Gods, Glory Seekers and those guys, these teams are uh, more for the Nossosian. So Nossals has their own different type of unit. So all the smaller factions have some different types. So that's really cool. So And also what the mods has is a whole load new diversity in uh, units as well as in um, submods. This this mod, uh, overall mod, has a really load of such mods you can use to vary, uh, varietize your game or yeah, uh, different it up and that is possibly the cooler part about this. So uh, check that out I suppose, um, there are a whole load, so <clears throat> uh, take a look on that and what is your most fun part. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it uh, and playing it so far and I must say it is a cool mod, yeah, it looks also nice and I think it is quite something you might want to do at some point on the channel. Alright, let's also take a look at the campaign map and see what is up there. Okay, well, we are here with Carvitz, you can see uh, the unit models of Carvitz and you also start off with Hannibal Barker as one of the uh, characters you choose from. I think some of the factions have like historical characters that shouldn't be really in the timeline in that time period, like uh, Carvitz has Hannibal. And I think that's quite cool. And as you can see, also new edicts that we can uh, use. And uh, yeah, and let's take a look at the diplomacy screen. As you can see, the diplomacy is also quite different. The new factions, like the although new factions, I'm not too sure if the Cardano and Libya are actually in the main campaign. I don't think they. I think they are. And as you can see, some of the factions also have some new uh, uh, models for their uh, yeah factions, I suppose. Note as well, the uh, age mod thing is also in this uh, current campaign. And here we are with unit models, as you can see. A whole new um, system of abilities like Brace. Uh, there's a bit or push, I suppose. That basically is to simulate like the Battle of 300. I suppose you've seen that movie. When the spawn like push, that's how supposed to simulate that. And that gives some debuffs. And also... Some units have some different um, extra stats that they normally wouldn't have, and some have some different um, skills uh, that you can use in your abilities. And as you can see, not bad. I will say really cool, and also how they all look. These are like Magi and all that kind of stuff. I suppose they, I suppose they got like that from um, Assassin's Creed. Um, although there might also be some from history. I'm not too sure that is that is actually true, but I must say they actually these units as well look really cool as an elephant unit. Um, they're not really African, but they're Indian. Doesn't really matter too much about me if they look cool. And uh, most of the units actually do. I think that's also one of the strengths of the mods. The, all of the units have some really different flavors. They all look different. So, like these as well, like some Egyptian champions. I'm not sure what they're called, but they look really cool. And as you can see that, so 
link down the mod below and check out this really awesome mod. I must say, I think the units stand most out and the flavor of what it adds. And let's now go to one of the final uh, mods overalls. Here we are, it is Radius Total War. I think it is all-time favorite of the Total War series from Shogun 2 towards, I think, um, yeah, Three Kingdoms as well. So every Total War from Shogun 2, from what I know, until war until three kings actually has a radius uh yeah campaign sort of and i think the possibly the main aspect of radius is basically turning up the notch of the campaign difficulty and other stuff as well as unit models uh what i know is now that you can basically use all of the campaigns although i would not recommend playing with the empire divided one because they are the units of the early Roman Empire also implemented in that one so I wouldn't recommend playing with uh, that campaign although the other all the other campaign especially I think Wrath of Sparta uh, are quite enjoyable with it because Wrath of Sparta now has some extra units which you normally wouldn't have it could take a little bit of that of course here we got like a Rise of Republic as well so also more unit variety but if you go to like the Wrath of Sparta for example you will have a whole load of new units what I think is really nice and I think it would be quite cool because yeah, what I when I was when I played um Rafa Spath it was just really bland and there was not really much unit variety and I think this mod helped with that quite a lot. So uh, check it out um in the campaign. It is for me I think one of the recommended campaigns for this mod. Although Grand Campaign of course also really cool. I enjoyed playing it and I also used a radius mod as one of my first ever uh, to the world let's plays um, so yeah out of experience I say I think this mod is really cool um, let's take a look at the grant of the campaign and I suppose Wrath of Sparta here we are with the Wrath of Sparta as you can see uh, a couple of these new units uh, this is like tier 1 recruitment building or actually tier 2 so we cannot yet recruit everything because you can see if we expand it we can include recruit a whole load more so it's interesting of course and it is only for Sparta, so all the other factions have some new units. Corums, Thebes, Athens all have new units. So if you're interested in checking it out, uh, do it because I think it would really uh, flavor up this campaign as well as the other ones. But I think for this campaign, it really helps out a lot because I think in the in the campaign it was interesting to play with only hoplites, but I think it was a bit lacking in unit variety. But I enjoyed it when I played it. So uh, check it out, I suppose. And it is the uh, Raffle Sparta and the units you can use as well. So let's now take a look at the units in like a battle and then I suppose we're going to finish off the video because we're almost done and I hope you will uh, check out some of these mods I recommend and uh, yeah thank you again for watching the video but they're not yet done we're just going to see like one little battle and uh, yeah that will be all. Well here we are um, we got a couple of the units of the Spartans we'll take a look at the Infinian soon enough but as you can see, the Spartans as well also have some different types. Yeah, we've got some... what are these? These are the Spartan Royal Guard. And over here we've got some sword units. But these are the Allied Achetetrochokadai or something. I'm sorry for my pronunciations. And what do we also have? We have Temple Warriors. We got um, some sort of Pike unit. Uh, we got Spartan named ones. Again, cool looking units overall. Here we got some Sectarii, some, some, some light infantry, Peloponnesian allies, so the allies of the Spartans. And over here we got some Agora veterans. Um, and here we got Alalian, some, some, yeah, Alalian Hepir, so from Alice. And disciplines of Ares, oh, I think these ones look the coolest. Really cool. And we got also a Spartan Archer, which I haven't seen before. We got the Spartan Archers, so some really cool looking units as well with those helmets on. Let's now take a look at the Infinient before the battle starts. Over here we got some Ephagatian, some really strong Peltas unit. Over here we got some Atholian Tarokadai, some half. Decent Romanized spear in the unit. Here we've got some Athenian armored units, really cool looking. And over here we've got some Athenian fitness, fitness, finest, sorry, finest. 
Applied Champion, so overall some really cool units, and we've got on both sides some uh, cavalry. And we've got some Messian cavalry, some Messian mercenaries who have joined the Athenian side and an Athenian cavalry. And over here side, we've got possibly one more. Ah, Achaean Telogo, so even the even heavier LA, melee cav, so not too bad looking, I would say, overall. But uh, yeah, this the uh, these are the battles. We're just taking a look at the battle now and see them fight for a little. Let's charge him here in. Let's use the Sicilian for that as well. And I think that crushed him more or less. Let's send the general in. He was here already some shots. Although some of the guards are already being shot at quite heavily. Got fire jaffs. Let's go to cinematic mode to finish off this campaign. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that must have hurt. Oh yeah, that must have hurt. As you can see, not bad, cool looking. Let's send these guys around. Let's send these guys in to help out over here. Charge him in, charge. Not hoplite, but charge. You come over here a little. Come around, attack him here. Killing spree, whip, rapid farms, charge them. And here we go. An attack against the Spartans. Absolutely butchered. Ah, here we go. Not bad, does it? Although here we've got some breaks, although we were being pushed quite heavily. Not bad. Looks cool. I hope you enjoyed as well. And there's also a unit that you get ability you guess you can use, so let's charge him in. Out of your formation, come up, charge. Let's see if we can use some of our archers against their archers because they are really doing some damage, especially the javelins doing a really good job at uh, killing off our men. Let's send these guys in as well. If you charge in the right in, let's send in these reinforcements. Killing spear, use whip, all these types of abilities as well. And again, does the advantage of Radius mod. Whole load of unit variety. I hope you will enjoy it. And yeah, this was the campaign. This was the five over mods that I really enjoy. Uh, link again in the description of all my um, of all the mods. And I hope you check out one of these campaigns that include um, the campaign that I just mentioned. Divided Barry is the most formless one I ever used. We might also do one in Attila because there are also a really cool uh, amount of mods that is might be for something in the future. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope something you find out and hopefully check out some of these mods. Again, thank you for watching. I'm Heroes of the Greeks and if you're interested in seeing more of these type of videos, leave a sub and a like. It is always really appreciated. And again, thank you all for watching. And um, yeah. Bye-bye, have a great day, and yeah, goodbye. Thank you for watching.